Good morning, everyone. Hi, I'm Sylvie. Today, we'll be pressure cooker canning beef stew. Yeah, a nice hearty meal in a jar. Yep, all you preppers out there, you newbies. Here's the thing. Beautiful weather, we work outside. We tend to get busy, you get really into your work, and next thing you know, time flies. What better way of preparing a meal by simply opening a jar of beef stew. I mean, it's as simple as that. Break it open, pour it in, and warm it up. No more than five minutes, you have yourself a meal. That is why I get myself prepared ahead of time. So days like this, working outside and making the most of my day, it's a fast meal and it's yummy. canning beef stew. It consists of string beef, onions, potatoes, and carrots. And as for juice, instead of water, I put beef broth and a little bit of spices like Montreal steak spice. Just a little sprinkle. So here we go. Okay, so for grilling my string beef, I'll be using a nice hot pan just to grill it, just to sear the outer side of it. Not completely cooking, just to sear it just to give it a little flavor. And I'll be using my canned butter. We've canned this butter three years ago. Uh, we've did a big batch of salted butter and we do have unsalted butter as well. But these can stay in the shelf for a very long time. But that that's what I'm gonna be using today. This is what I want. Right there. Oh yeah. Seriously, you gotta smell this. Awesome, right? Amazing. Wow. Keep the cook happy. Look at those juices. Oh, beautiful. It's gonna be so good. Today I'm using the string beef, but if I had my hands on some good venison, like a little moose meat or whatnot, even bison is awesome. But uh, moose meat, I think I would try that next time. But for now, I ain't got no moose meat. So, string beef it is. And go ahead and push your vegetables and everything down. Try to get all the nooks and crannies. Don't be shy. Push it in.
start with the beef. I put the beef, I, I do it in layers. I put the beef and then the rest, like the carrots, potatoes, onions, and then the broth, and then the spices, and that's it. So let's begin. You can gauge about the ratio that you need. Go for the potatoes. So I sear my meat, but I don't pre-cook my potatoes, onions, and carrot. Just raw. Okay, and the onions. Push a little bit. All right. Now for the spices. teaspoon is plenty. Right. Beef broth. And you have yourself a beautiful jar of stew. Look at these beautiful jars of beef stew. Okay, this is the biggest model that all American pressure cooker canner. Um, it can accommodate, see these six down below with a rack. And then I'll put another six of them on top, which means I can put 12 large one liter jars that would fit perfectly in there. Now look at these little babies. Mm. Now it's time to heat it up. Now, according to National Center for Home Food Preservation, they tell you that it needs to vent 10 minutes prior before putting on your um, weight. For our elevation, it's 15 pound weight put on. So you need to vent this for 10 minutes before putting that 15 pound weight on it. And then after that, it gets to cook for a good 90 minutes. Now I'm putting my weight at 15. Once the weight starts to jiggle, it needs to do it at least four to five times per minute. And then you start your timer for 90 minutes. Now that it's been 90 minutes cooking, um, it's time to shut it down and let it cool completely and let the gauge go down to zero before doing anything. Well, my timer just told me it's been 90 minutes that it's been cooking. So I've stopped it and letting that pressure gauge go down to zero before doing anything to it. Now that the pressure gauge is at zero, this is time to take your your weight off and open it up but when you open it make sure you open it away from you okay this is hot be careful
first. Yeah, you can hear them pop. <laughs> so now we let them cool for 24 hours before we start putting them away. So enjoy the popping. Good morning. Now that we've let our stew cool down overnight, now it's time to wash all your jars. You do get grimy during the process, but after that, you wash them like this. And then you get to store them in a dark, cool place, just like all of your other preserves, canning stuff that you do. Then there'll be easy meal. Not even in five minutes, you just open the jar, warm it up. You can make a little gravy with it or simply eat it like that because it is in deep, rich beef broth, right? Just like my martinis, shake it, not stir it. Des carottes, des patates, des oignons, c'est bon.